Hi everybody, BT here with FX Live uh, DayTrading.com. I want to go over the uh, trade that we took yesterday. That's going to be April 13th. It's Friday, and it's 2012. And really, markets were a bit slow on Friday. We had the China uh, data come out Thursday night. Um, that was at 10 p.m. New York time, and the number came out at 8.1. Uh, percent GDP they were expecting about 8.8 8.9 so there was a little bit of a flush but not such an enormous flush we had a 1.04 um, or 50 high I believe in Asian session and it flushed down to about the 1.04 level held there for a little bit and then came down another 20 pips bounced back up and was really chopping by the time we came into the uh, um, the U.S. session, we were holding off to take a trade, and then we went ahead, and uh, it was about 8.30, 8.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We just went ahead and took a short with a stop above our important key level. That important key level is 1.0427. This is a key level that we've had in our chart for quite some time. We utilize several different strategies. Um, in our trading system uh, which allows us to um, get these very important key levels so with this important key level we had this on our chart and we just simply put our stop above this level and then what we look to do was cover at our second key level uh, which was down here now we kept this target open but we made sure that we had our stop in here and when we noticed that it wasn't breaking uh, the 1.0370 level we went ahead and we took profits right around that level for a plus 37 pips so sometimes you're not gonna go ahead and uh, hold a position at least not into the weekend um, even though we had our stop and we had our target so we just went ahead and took that off needless to say it was a good uh, trade and in total this week I think we had about 133 or 137 I think it was 133 uh, pips for the week you can check um, and uh, plus 303 with the swing signal service customers so you can check these um, statistics just go to FX live day trading dot com of course past performance is not an indication of future performance and you have to remember that uh, forex and futures trading are very risky you take care everybody and have a great weekend